It is about 559 to 545 BC in the land of Nephi. The prophet Nephi teaches about baptism and the doctrine of Christ. Based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. I must speak concerning the doctrine of Christ. Wherefore, I shall speak unto you plainly, according to the plainness of my prophesying. I would that ye should remember that I have spoken unto you concerning that prophet which the Lord showed unto me, that should baptize the Lamb of God, which should take away the sins of the world. Now, if the Lamb of God, he being holy, should have need to be baptized by water to fulfill all righteousness. Oh, then, how much more need have we, being unholy, to be baptized, yea, even by water? And now I would ask of you, wherein the Lamb of God did fulfill all righteousness in being baptized by water? Know ye not that he was holy? But notwithstanding he being holy, he showeth unto us, the children of men, that according to the flesh he humbleth himself before the Father, and witnesseth unto the Father that he would be obedient unto him in keeping his commandments. Wherefore, after he was baptized with water, the Holy Ghost descended upon him in the form of a dove, and it showeth unto the children of men the straightness of the path and the narrowness of the gate by which they should enter, he having set the example before them. If ye shall follow the Son with full purpose of heart, acting no hypocrisy and no deception before God, but with real intent, repenting of your sins, witnessing unto the Father that ye are willing to take upon you the name of Christ by baptism, yea, by following your Lord and your Savior down into the water, according to his word, behold, then shall ye receive the Holy Ghost. And now, after ye have gotten into this straight and narrow path, I would ask if all is done. Behold, I say unto you, Nay. For ye have not come thus far, save it were by the word of Christ, with unshaken faith in him, relying wholly upon the merits of him who is mighty to save. Wherefore, ye must press forward with a steadfastness in Christ, having a perfect brightness of hope and a love of God and of all men. And if ye shall press forward, feasting upon the word of Christ, and endure to the end, behold, thus saith the Father, ye shall have eternal life. This is the way, and there is none other way nor name given under heaven whereby man can be saved in the kingdom of God. And now what should ye do after ye have entered in by the way? that after ye had received the Holy Ghost, ye could speak with the tongue of angels. Angels speak by the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherefore, they speak the words of Christ. Feast upon the words of Christ. They will tell you all things what ye should do. If ye will enter in by the way and receive the Holy Ghost, it will show unto you all things what ye should do. Behold, this is the doctrine of Christ. <laughs> 